Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I want to show you how you can build the two most popular traps, deadfall traps that there are out there. The first one is the figure 4 deadfall trap. The second one is the Bayut deadfall trap. And today I'm accompanied again by Amy. Amy. <laughs> and Amy is a small Münsterländer breed from Germany. So it's a hunting dog. And that's why I always have to keep her on a leash because she's a really wild dog and if I would let her off the leash she would pretty much hunt every animal in this forest and I'm not allowed to do that and that's why she's on a leash. But anyways, for our deadfall trap we are going to need some kind of weight and for the weight you can either take a big log or you can take a big stone like this one. So this is a stone that I've dragged out of the creek, which is over there. And besides a weight, you also will need some kind of um, sticks that you can carve your traps with. So now I'm going to go and search for a couple of branches and twigs. Okay, we have a willow tree here and the tree has a couple of dead branches. This looks good. Okay, I can use that to um, carve the trap. So first I want to make the figure 4 deadfall trap. I can't believe it. There were four deer. They were just standing over there. It was 10 meters away. Wow. <laughs> and actually they were looking at us uh, for quite a long time. But then Amy, um, she was getting up and uh, knocking over the canteen. And then they were gone. But they were super close. Now here we have the release stick, which has this asymmetrical notch so that it can sit on here. And then also at this side it should be um, having a sharp flat point. And last but not least we need a bait stick which should be quite long. This one has a crook here so well let's see if it works. Okay, the bait stick has this asymmetrical groove again and this is where the flat head um, ending of the release stick locks into. Okay, so we are pretty much done with the three sticks of the figure 4 deadfall trap. First we have the upright stick, which has a groove at the side and which has an angled point on top. And then we have the bait stick. And the bait stick has a groove here. So it goes into, into the groove like this. And then at the end it has this asymmetrical notch 
and this is where the release stick goes like so and then on top you have another asymmetrical notch and this is where all of the free sticks connect together okay now I'm going to try and set the stone up and I'm going to elevate it onto this log because then it can sit more horizontal ah. Okay guys, so finally I've managed to set it up. It took me like three tries. So it's really tricky to set up the figure four deadfall trap. And you also have to be careful that you do not injure yourself when the stone is falling down by accident. And this is a heavy stone, so you do not want to break your hands while playing around with this. What you also will need is some bait that you will put onto the bait stick and you want to um, put it on the very end of the bait stick so that the animal really has to go deep uh, into the trap. You don't want to bait the stick here because then the animal has a chance to get away. So make sure that you put the bait on the bait stick at the very end. Okay, so now I'm trying to release the trap and I try to mimic some kind of rodent that is eating the bait off the stick. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, this is not a good trap because it's still standing. It should have already collapsed. So although it was quite hard to set up, the trigger is not very sensitive. Let's try from this side. Yeah, so unfortunately the trap is not working well. Uh, it should have already collapsed by touching the bait stick like this. Okay, so I have made the figure for a deadfall trap, but I cannot bring it to collapse with just small movements and that's a bad sign. So um, that's probably one of the disadvantages of the figure four deadfall trap that uh, once it's set up, it can happen that the notches sit so tight that it doesn't release uh, easily. So that's one of the downsides of the figure four deadfall trap. If you make the notches too deep, then it's not easy to release the trap. Unbelievable. Whoa. Okay. But the good sign is that all of the free sticks are outside of the trap. So if you have a lot of sticks piling up at the inside, it can leave a small gap and then the animal can escape or survive. So you want to set this um, upright stick up at the outside of the trap. Okay, so this is the figure four deadfall trap. It's a good trap, but um, it did not release quickly. So now I want to try the Paiute deadfall trap and then we will see if the Paiute is a little bit more trigger sensitive. Okay, for the Paiute deadfall trap, I want to take the upright stick from before and I want to use the release stick. And then we are going to need a toggle and we need a little bit of cordage 
So if you don't have cordage with you, you can take some roots or bark from trees or split lianas. Okay, so now I want to attach this root to the toggle and I want to see and try if I can make the constrictor knot, which is one of my favorite knots for toggles. So first you are going to start with this loop, then you make a second loop in the same direction. You put the second one behind the first loop and then you put through your toggle. So this is now a clove hitch, but the clove hitch is a little bit slippery. So what I do then is I take the tag end and stick it through this one loop. And now you have a toggle which is secured by the cordage and this doesn't move anymore. So the toggle will go around. So that means that we need this much of a distance. And here I just make a stopper knot like that. Then I go over the other side and stick this through. So now this knot should not move anymore. It stays in place. So here we have our release stick and our toggle. And then we need one more bait stick, which is a little bit shorter than the one we used before. Wow, I set this up with one try. Okay, I cannot believe it that I only needed like one try to set it up. It was really, it was a really quick setup. So it took me 10 minutes to make this trap. Unbelievable. Okay, now before we release the trap, I first want to explain how the trap works. So the stone put some pressure onto the release stick, which is then pulling the string and it tries to pull the toggle onto the other side, but the toggle is held by the spade stick, which gets pressed against the lock at the back side. Oh! <laughs> okay, the deadfall trap just fell down without uh, my doing. Okay, let me set this up again. Okay, so now I've set up the trap a second time. This time I've shortened the bait stick a little bit because it was just a little bit too long. And also, um, if you take a look at the upright stick, it's outside of the trap. And I can even move it outside a little bit more. So I will try to take the release stick and put it more to the edge of the stone now. Okay, so now I have successfully moved the release stick a little bit more towards the edge of the stone. And this way also the upright stick has moved away from the stone, which is important so that the trap can collapse quickly. Yeah, so I think that this trap can be triggered much more easily than the figure four deadfall trap. And I gotta say that I like this trap much more. 
Okay, let's say I'm a mouse and I want to get the bait, which is at the back here. Bam! <laughs> wow! So, as you guys just saw, it did not need a lot of uh, pressure on the bait stick to release the trap. And also now, the stone has broken my bait stick. Okay, so this is the leftover of the trap. You can use the bait stick again and the release stick because they fell outside of the trap when the stone was going down. The only thing that broke was my bait stick, but you can easily recreate that. Okay, so now let's see how strong this cordage is. I just want to try and break it. Oh, it's, it's really strong. Oh. Huh. I guess it was taking 10 kilograms or 7 kilograms to break the string. So roots are great cordage for survival. I love it. Okay guys, so after this video I have to say that I like the Paiute deadfall trap more than the figure 4 deadfall trap. And that's because, first of all, it's easier to create, it's faster to create, um, it's easier to set up in my opinion, and also it triggers much more easily. So I believe that of the two traps, the Paiute deadfall trap is superior if you have the chance to find some cordage. Of course, if you are in a place where you do not have any kind of cordage, then you will have to go back to the figure four deadfall trap. And that trap takes a little bit longer to carve and also it's quite tricky to set up. But maybe you find a way to make it, you know, a little bit more fine. So maybe you can uh, get it triggered more easily than me today in this video. But all in all, I gotta say that the Paiute Deadfall Trap is the winner. I think Deadfall Traps are very effective traps. Uh, here in Austria, they are not allowed. So this was only for demonstration purposes. And after this video, I'm not going to set up the trap again. So I will put away all of the sticks, throw away all of the sticks in different directions that nobody can create this trap here in this forest because here it's highly illegal and if you set up a trap like this and they catch you, it's considered animal cruelty here in my country and you will pay a big fine. Uh, I know it's different in many countries. In many countries this is perfectly legal. It also depends in which state that you are in. So you always have to inquire about your local laws. Okay guys, so this was how you can carve yourself two different sets of deadfall traps. The figure 4 and the Bayut deadfall trap. Uh, always make sure that you do not hurt your hands and your fingers when you're setting up uh, the log or the stone because it can lead to quite severe injuries. And yeah, if you are interested in more wilderness survival skill videos, then make sure that you check out my basic wilderness survival playlist on YouTube. All of the links are in the description below. Amy and me want to thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.